Today is Thursday, February 16th, 2017, and I'm going to talk about another story today. I'll probably release this in the morning, tomorrow, on Friday, February 17th, but I'm going to talk about the so-called immigrant march. Now, this march, just yet another Facebook uh, post that went viral, the same thing happened with the women's march. A lot of these uh, so-called marches, protests, etc., are started online. And it makes me think that somebody could be behind it to try and promote some posts, to try to do a little bit of SEO, some marketing. Because how is it that one post online out of all the thousands of posts just happened to get to all the right people and all the right places to where you have protests, uh, riots, whatever you want to call it, all across the country. Now, luckily, I did not see any riots from this one. It was really peaceful, unlike some of the previous ones. And you know what's funny is that from the news coverage I've seen about this so-called march, I did not see anybody say it was peaceful, even though it was. But for the non-peaceful ones that say it's peaceful, maybe it's a way for them to try and cover up the fact that it's not peaceful by calling it peaceful. Fake news, but I digress. I'm going to go ahead and play a clip for you from people that were on the ground. You can see some of the actual aerial footage of it. They're blocking roads. Well, that part wasn't peaceful, but at least it wasn't any kind of riots or looting as far as I saw. But I'm going to go ahead and play that video. And after it gets done, we'll come back. And I'll give you my final thoughts. So without further ado, go ahead and roll it. In many of the same neighborhoods where ICE agents rounded up undocumented immigrants last week, stores closed in protest. It looks like a ghost town. But immigrants not just shutting down stores, they are shutting down streets as well. In places like Chicago, Minneapolis, and Atlanta, demonstrations lashing out against President Donald Trump's executive orders on immigration, his comments on Mexico, and recent deportations of undocumented immigrants. Ciclali Guerrero, hoping the president sees her marching with her mother. There's families that are happy here with their family, and America's already great with all immigrants here. And you built all this? In this Denver bakery, the owner of Maria Empanada shows us what would normally be a bustling kitchen. We will be really busy at this time. Lorena Cantarovici immigrated so to the United States from Argentina with only a backpack and less than $300. Today, she's closing down two of her stores at the cost of thousands of dollars, but says it's about principle. We came with dreams, and the dream that I'm living right now, the American dream, I want to pass that to every single employee that I have right here. Schools also seeing a drop in attendance. Some seeing more than half of students missing class. Walkouts across the country, including Dallas, where students at Molina High School formed an impromptu mariachi band. A teacher tweeting these photos saying only seven out of 26 students showed up. Her teachable moment to give a lesson on Cesar Chavez as tens of thousands send the message that America is a nation of immigrants. All right, so you see that, you see the protests, you see individuals blocking the roads, you see people out there speaking Spanish, you know, talking about, it's all about solidarity, et cetera, et cetera. But my thing is this, why has it got to be about immigrants in general? I mean, let's make a distinction here. The problem that we're facing in the country is not immigrants, it's illegal immigrants, illegal. And this piece from NBC Nightly News they're showing some of the good people that have come here and really started businesses. That's the American dream to come to a new place from your country of origin, become an American and contribute in a positive way. The lady from South America who was an immigrant to that country, but that's a whole different story. And I digress. She was talking about how she came to America and it afforded her a lot of opportunity to, to be able to make a lot of money, to be able to open businesses, to live the American dream. But at the same time, she wants to say, well, I want to close the store because of Donald Trump and his policy towards immigrants. But really, you should be thankful for his policy towards illegal immigrants because it keeps our country special the way that it was designed to be, the way that it has become over many years of all kinds of trials, tribulations, a lot of egregious past transgressions. We've been able to come up out of that and become a great country, become a great nation. You should be thankful for him trying to protect what we have built here. You know, illegal people are not coming over here all the time for the right reason. And it doesn't even really matter why they come over here for a good reason or a bad reason. At the end of the day, they're doing something that's illegal. If I break the law, I'm punished to the fullest extent. So why should a so-called immigrant be treated any differently? All right. If you're an immigrant, you come over here, do it the right way. Go through the process just like everybody else that's legal. Don't come over here illegally and play the victim. You're not the victim. You did something that was wrong and you knew it was wrong. So once you get deported or whatever it is, 
That's your problem. I don't care about nobody to get family over here. You knew that was a risk when you did it. You know what risks are involved when you do something, just like anybody else. You know, it's unfortunate that you got to go, but that's what you did. You know, it was illegal. If you are a game banger, if you are a drug dealer, whatever it is, you know it's illegal. So I'm not going to cry river for you when you die, when you get locked up or whatever. That's what it is. If you're a bank robber, you go robbing banks. I'm not going to cry river for you then. I'm not, I won't cry river for you for any kind of illegal activity you engage in. That's your fault. And you decided to do it as an adult. That's the decision that you made. And it is what it is. If we have no enforcement on the border, if we have no protection against individuals that want to come over here illegally, then we have no nation. Without borders, there is no nation. Then you will have everybody from all over the world that's in upon the United States. And the people that come over here illegally, they're not looking to make America be their new home as far as becoming an American. They're looking to just bring over whatever they bring with them. So if you got a boat full of a million Chinese, are they just going to all of a sudden become American, speak English and everything else? They're going to establish a little part of their country, like a big Chinatown, as big as a, a state, like California or something like that. They're going to take over a whole place and it's going to be China over here. They're not going to worry about black folks. They're not going to worry about white folks. They're not going to worry about anybody that's been here. They're going to worry about themselves, which is what you should do. And as Americans, we got to worry about ourselves and not be worried about everybody else. That does not really care about us too much. And of course, they want to show the good things that so-called immigrants do. But what about the bad things illegal immigrants do? If you're over here legally as an immigrant, I don't care. You know, if you commit crime or you don't commit crime, if you commit crime, go to jail. If you don't commit crime, then, hey, we love you. If you're an asset to the country, we love you, regardless of what. If you are a legal immigrant, you are an American just like anybody else. You are an American. But it ain't like that if I go over to China. You know, if I immigrate to China, I'm not all of a sudden Chinese now. I'm an American that happens to be living in China. If you're a Chinese person to come over here legally, you're an American now. That's how that works. So we got to be able to protect that. And we can't allow people to come over here and do whatever they want to do. No, they want to show the good side of the so-called immigrants, but they don't want to show the bad side. Like I said, they don't want to show when somebody that's drunk with no license, you know, crashes and kills somebody on the road. They don't want to show when somebody's over here illegally involved in a notorious gang, kills some innocent 16 year old black male. They don't want to show all the drugs that come over here through the drug mules. They don't want to show the human traffickers that come over here and put 13, 14 year old girls in underground bunkers and tell them about the rich people. They don't want to talk about that. There's something that goes on that the media will not show you. It's a little bit too shocking for the system. They keep it PG-13. They show a little girl that looks kind of sad and you want to feel lost sad for because somebody that's illegal gets deported, but they don't want to show the 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 10-year-old girl tied up in somebody's living room that came illegally from somebody from somewhere else through an illegal coyote. They don't want to talk about that, but that's real. I'm not even exaggerating. Like I said before in previous videos, there's been Chinese massage parlors that have been raided around here and all of them couldn't speak any English. They needed interpreters and everything else. You know how they came over here. They came illegally, right? And the whole thing about that piece I just showed you from NBC Nightly News, it, they did not show all of the face of immigration, really. They showed you people that came from south of the border. And like I said, it's not even about immigration. People try to conflate immigration with illegal immigration. That is not correct. You got to talk about illegal. Talk about breaking the law, period. And that's part of the problem in the country as I close. That's part of the problem in the country. People just don't get punished anymore for committing a crime. You know, if you are a black person in the ghetto, you got some liberal judge that will give you a slap on the wrist. You didn't had a gun, got caught with a legal gun. You were 15 years old. They let you out in an hour. You go back on the street and then kill some little boy. Then all of a sudden, everybody's like, how did this happen? Well, you're playing a, a cat and mouse game. You're playing catch and release. You're not giving the appropriate sentence, the appropriate the appropriate punishment for an act that somebody commits. It's the same thing going on here with the illegal immigration. It has to be enforced properly. The raids from ICE have been going on for 15 years. The lying media is trying to say that, oh, it's a surge under Trump, even though ICE itself has denied it. You see, the media in many ways is kind of complicit in what's going on. People down south of the border and all over the world, really, because like I said, illegal immigration is not just a problem with Mexico, Central America or South America. We're talking about all over the world. People come from Africa, China, Europe, Asia, even Canada, maybe some of the Caribbean islands, Haiti, Jamaica, all over the world. It's not just south of the border. That's a racist way to think about it. 
people come from all over the world to that border in the south because everybody knows it's porous and it's able just to be able to you can just walk through it basically right people got to talk about that in its entirety rather than just a little small microcosm of what's going on I think once we do that, once we get a full understanding of who's coming over here, why they're coming over here, and how they're coming over here, we'll be a little bit more serious about how to defeat it. And these marches, as I close through this time, and these marches, when I saw it originally, it's going to be a day where they close down their shops, and when they don't go to work or go to school or anything like that, it just, they go out and march for a day. Now, I'm thinking, okay, that's probably the easiest way possible to identify a lot of the illegals. All you're doing right there is making the process to round you up and ship you out a lot more easy. <laughs> you know, if you want to, if ICE want to go and just party in one of these rallies, they can just lock up a lot of people right there. If people got warrants or whatever it is, I was watching some of the news clips and they were saying some people, they were identifying who was illegal in the crowd. It's like, yo, why would you do that? <laughs> All you're doing right there is just putting your face on the wall for ICE to come get which should happen. If you want to be over here, come the right way. I love immigrants that come over here legally. I don't care where you're from, what your race is, how you look, your age, your gender, whatever it is. If you're non-gender, if you're gay, straight, I don't care. Just follow the law. That's all I ask. Once you come over here illegally, I don't care where you came from. You could have came from uh, France. You could have came from Canada. You could have came from anywhere in Europe, Asia, Africa, you could have came from the North Pole. You could have been one of Santa's reindeers. I don't care who you are. If you're over here illegally, you got to go out, out, out. But what do you think? Do you think that the illegal immigration, pardon me, the immigrant march, do you think it was a good thing to have to show solidarity with the immigrant in the United States that feels, uh, it feels like they're kind of being discriminated against by Donald Trump and his policies towards immigration, which basically says if you're illegal, you can't come. And also to like the so-called Muslim ban, which basically just restricts travel from certain countries for a little bit of time until we get things figured out, which is not a permanent ban, which does not ban all Muslims. So it cannot be called a Muslim ban, which does not just ban Muslims in that country. It could be a Christian. It could be somebody else. It's all about security. And that's it. Do you think it was a good thing to have to march? Or do you think that this march was wrong, that it was wrong to have to march? That it was kind of dumb. That yet another social media thing that went viral. People looking at their phone and say, oh, okay, it's on my phone. I got to go do it. People are just bored. They want something to do. Do you think they're trying to conflate illegal immigration with immigration in general? That's two different things. not the same thing. Is that what they're trying to do to try and make them be the same thing? So it was like, okay, you're anti-immigrant. We're a nation of immigrants. We all came over here. The key difference to all of that is that if you come over here today and you're illegal, it's not the same thing as if you come over here legally. Oh, one more question I got to ask. Are you a legal immigrant? How do you feel about the immigrant march? Did you enjoy it? Were you out there? Did you participate? Have you heard about anybody that has gone to the immigrant march? Did you yourself protest today? Now, if you did protest today, explain to me what you think you accomplished. And are you in fear of ICE coming to get you if they saw you on TV? <laughs> Whatever your comments are. Let me know in the comments below. That's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.